guys, let's get into this hair. This hair is from Beauty Love Youth, B L Y. I got this hair from Amazon. I think I got it for like seventy three dollars. It's a fourteen inch bob, four by four lace closure wig. Um, came with of course a wig cap. Um, when I first opened this hair, y'all, child, let me tell y'all, this hair stinked. Like I don't know what was going on. I was like, oh my god. Like as soon as it came out the pack, I was like, what is that man like woof woof I ain't never had smell no hair like that before but let me stop with y'all but anyways yeah so um I got this I think the cap size is a medium but they didn't have like any options for like a small or anything because I have a very small head if anything I'm like a 21 inch or 21.5 but I was like I guess we can make it work I'm not really gonna trip about it I end up taking out all of those combs I don't use the combs at all um, but yeah, the hair was it's pretty thick. You know, it's a 180 density wig. I was very, very pleased um, with it. So let's just go ahead and get right to the bleach and the knots. Of course, using Clear All, I'm using the Developer 30. You don't have to use this developer. I'm pretty sure most people commonly use 20. But I just use 30 because that's like kind of all I had with me at the time. And I'm just like mixing it up to just get the perfect consistency. It should be kind of like a paste. I'm pretty sure y'all seen multiple videos, but yeah, like that. So as soon as you pick it up, it should be like not dripping into the bowl at all. So I'm just lightly pressing the um, stuff. <laughs> I said the stuff, y'all. I'm lightly pressing the bleach onto the knots of the hair. It may look like I'm pressing hard, but I'm really not. Um, I I, I know you're supposed to use like a comb, not like a metal comb or anything, but y'all, I got lazy. I ain't feel like gonna go clean off the comb and then do all that. I was like, let me just use this little wooden stick I got. Like, I'm not finna trip about this. Um, I will say I kind of ended up bleaching the front of the knots. I feel like that's like the hardest spot to not like over bleach is like the front of the lace, like where all the knots are in the front. You know, with that she used for baby hairs, but I mean, mine's end up working in favor. I actually end up plucking all of those hairs out, so I was all good to go. But yeah, of course, bleach it and not slightly spreading it over, just trying to make sure I get all of the corners, especially in the front. And don't mind my pajamas, y'all. Like, your girl was in the Christmas spirit. I love The Nightmare Before Christmas, one of my favorite movies. So don't be judging me with the bonnet on and everything, okay? Like, look, this is how we all was looking this whole past year of 2020. But yeah, I'm just plucking out all of those, like, hairs that were over bleached because I don't like that look at all, y'all. I really don't like that look. It's not cute to me. I mean, I could always put a little dye over it, but I ain't really doing all that. But yeah, so I'm just kind of going in between the front. I don't want it to, you know, give a complete frontal look. I really just want it to look more natural. I wasn't really trying to aim for a full-on frontal look at all, you guys. I just was like, let me just do a little bit of plucking to give myself a little bit of a hairline. I didn't want it to just be that complete straight line going across with the... Um, the hair now i will say that the knots bleached so well and what i do love about this wig you guys is the fact that the knots are actually pretty small like they're so unnoticeable like i i wish like you could kind of see a little in the video like the knots are very small and i love that about this wig the lace is it's pretty decent lace. Um, I think it's like a, a brown lace, like a light brown lace. And I did not need to tint the lace at all. Um, the hair plucked very nicely. It took the color well as far as the bleaching, as I said before. And it just, I, I was very impressed. Like, I've never, you know, bought a wig from Amazon. I'm typically very skeptical when it comes to buying anything um hair related off of amazon or just in general because no one wants a bad wig no one so i blow dried the wig and now i'm just adding on some bio silk to the hair just so we can get some shine some luster and i just end up straightening the wig bone straight as straight as i possibly could it took heat very well you guys like i was very very impressed like 
y'all I was like this wig is like pretty bomb like for the price that I paid it was awesome for 14 inch um as far as that goes they did have a, like a little small lace piece in the back which I thought was like pointless I don't know why they had that back there I end up almost burning the lace because I didn't know that it was back there I was like oh my gosh no one needs that I don't know why that's there but yeah I'm just straightening the wig y'all just trying to get it bone straight get it as flat as possible um once I got to where the lace closure was one thing I will say it was a lot of like tiny hairs like flyaways so I used my wax stick you can use any kind of wax stick and I just kind of use that in my hot comb as you see me now just to flatten the entire lace closure so it could look super realistic and just super smooth and super flat um but yeah as you can see here, I was plucking to give that more realistic hairline. And just look at it. I really didn't even need to add baby hairs, but I like baby hairs. So we're going to add some anyways. Like, it looks so good. Y'all look at that. Now, I did end up cutting the hair a lot more as far as to make it look more blunt. It is an original blunt bob, but of course... It wasn't like full on blunt like how I really wanted it. So I ended up cutting it um, using a razor. I'm sorry, shears. I ended up using shears, barber shears. And of course, that is a wax stick that I use just to flatten it out, as you can see, to get all those tiny hairs. And just look at that thing, like flawless, baby. Like, ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh let me find out I'm a hairstylist now. Let me find out. Like, don't play with me. <laughs> don't play with me. Okay, so I'm just taking a little piece of hair in the front just to give myself a little baby hairs. You know, I ended up um, trying to mimic the hairline that my hairstylist uses on me when it came to doing the baby hairs. And I just like love the way it looks on me. It looks so good. Like y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see in the next video when I actually wear the wig. But like, look at it, you guys. Like I am definitely going to say as of right now. After washing the wig, bleaching it, flat ironing it, and seeing how much heat. Because I definitely had my flat irons and my hot comb on high heat. And it took so well. I will say, I'll give this wig about an 8 so far. So once I put it on, we're going to see, you know, what it's working with. But as of right now, I definitely give it an 8. It had rarely too little shedding. Like barely any at all. When I had my flat iron on high heat, I was checking to see, like, you know, how some hair melts because it's fake. Did not melt at all. Very, very impressed. <laughs> now, I'm just using some eco gel just to kind of lay the baby hairs down. Just so, you know, it can it can stay there so I can give y'all a visual. Um, I may end up actually adding a little bit more. I'm not sure. It just like all depends on like how I feel. But as of right now, um, yeah, I think I'm going to add some more because you'll see like later on in the video. But yeah, I ended up cutting the baby hairs a little bit smaller because I just want them to look realistic as possible. And I, I don't like long baby hairs. I'm just like not a big fan of them at all. As you can see, I like mine small because they're just easier to just swoop right on in there. Get that thing. Ooh. Ooh. Swoop. Swoop that thing, girl. You see. You see me. We just gonna do the same thing to the other side. Y'all, I'm so proud. This is my first time customizing uh my wig like on my own without my hairstylist doing this. So y'all got I was so impressed on how this wig came. I was like, yes, honey. Yes, this is me. I did this myself. So happy. But yes, as you see, I'm just laying it down, getting it nice and flat. Ooh, swoop that thing. Yes, yes. Lay, baby, laid. 
I'm so proud, y'all. So, so proud how this came out. But yeah, you guys, y'all see it. Um, it looks so cute. It looks super flat. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe.